my life will be filled with so many blessings. Life is so generous to me. But now I'm very blessed with life. Just little morning affirmations for me to start the day off with. Because why not? Well, anywho. Hello everyone. Welcome to... I don't remember what week we're on. Week 3? Week 4 of July. It is episode 8 of the No Plan Me Journey. Queen's room is so peaceful because like look at this warm beautiful blue gray color and I'm gonna use her bed as a meditation sanctuary so thank you Kuna why do I feel good? for reasons of friends health, exercise, spirituality feeling anything else calmness is so important to me nothing can beat calmness maybe that's why i enjoy solitude so much because it's never ending calmness solitude is just peace all day long look who joined us for working hi hi baby hi <laughs> oh do you see it you baby i'm in love i'm in love with the way i feel in love with the way I'm being treated, and in love with how real the love is. Love is boundless, love is truthful, and love is powerful. This love makes me feel safe. It allows me to be vulnerable, and it excites me to wake up every day. I've never felt this way before, and I don't want to ever stop feeling this way. I want it to continue for a lifetime, and I never want to let it go. I trust that my person is always there for me. And they prove me right every single time. My person has stood by me through it all. They pick me back up when I'm down, and they are the wind beneath my wings when I'm flying high in the sky. It was not easy to let someone in so intensely. It required a lot of patience, time, and effort. I had to trust my instinct to trust them. And you may be wondering, who is this person I am in love with? Well, think about it. Who is the person that has been beside me all along? Me. I am my person. Who else could it be? Who else stuck by my side through adversities and pain? Who else never gave up on me when everyone thought I couldn't? Who else gave me everything I needed and more? I did all those things. I am the person I love. In the month of July, I learned a great deal about love. I learned that to love, you must trust. And to trust, you must soften up. I learned that people who love you will never think they are giving you enough. And people who don't love you will think you are asking for too much. I learned that one should love you the way you want to be loved, not the way they want to love you. And to be loved, you must know how you want to be loved. Have you asked yourself that question before? How do I want to be loved? If you haven't yet, I suggest you do so. Sit down and think, what does love mean to me? Which actions translate into love for me? And what do I want to feel when being loved? I didn't recognize the importance of these questions up until recently. Loving yourself is a promise to a life you deserve. When you know how to love yourself, it teaches someone else how to love you too. When you fully understand the power of self-love, you understand the power you withhold. The outcome of your life is based on how you treat yourself. The choice is yours. And if anyone dares to tell you that self-love is selfish, tell them this. Self-love is not a selfish act. It is an act of cultivating your love to share with others. The more you have, the more you can give. When we are able to embrace the fullness of self-love, we are also able to give more love. Loving ourselves 
helps us feel the power of that energy flow within us. And we want to do nothing more but to share the same feeling with others. Self-love is the foundational love. Every love that comes after that is a beautiful addition to life. It's like building a house, and I use this analogy a lot, but that's because it makes sense. Think of self-love as the foundation of a house. You need a strong base that can withstand wind and storm. It needs to be sturdy before you add anything more. From there, you can build up. The building blocks and decorative pieces is the additional love you receive from family, friends, and community. They make your house unique and pretty. They add flavor and personality. But you can't have a beautiful house without your love in the equation. Your love is the binding bond of all the love that surrounds you. You are the most important thing you have. My love grows every day. I want people to feel what I feel, which is why I'm sharing my words with you. Self-love is guaranteed happiness and nothing makes me happier. I know who I'm coming home to every night and I know who I get to be with every morning. Self-love is reassuring, promising, and forever. So I thank the month of July for teaching me how I want to be loved. Now I know how to treat myself even better, how to love myself even fuller, and how to give even more. Thank you for watching everyone, and I'll see you really soon. Bye-bye!